Okay, guys. So my previous experience with Pathfinder Adventures was listed. Oh, was uh, limited to my brother bought. This was uh, Rise of the Rune Lords. This is a card game that my brother bought. We played it for a bit. Uh, we decided it kind of took too long, so we we got rid of it. And there's a I bought a humble bundle recently, and this was in there. So I figure, hey, I'll give it a shot. Maybe the digital thing cleans up some, saves you up on setup and cleanup time. So let's go. Let's do some tutorial first. I do not remember how to play this game, so I'm going for it. Oh, you even get stuff for doing it. Okay. That is weird. All right. First tutorial will cover the basics of skills. Check to acquire some basic card actions. All right. Okay. In this tutorial, you will be controlling Marisil. Marisil. A rogue with high dexterity and great combat ability. Characters in Pathfinder Adventures take turns searching for the villain by exploring locate. I remember this part. You have to go through locations to look for the villains. Uh, it only it takes a while to to get to the point where you can fight them. All right, exploring, you can find different types of boons, helpful cards, including weapons, armor, allies, and items. Click the location deck. An ally. Allies can help you in many different ways, including acquiring a boon or exploring additional times on your character's turn. To acquire the ally, you must re meet or exceed the check to acquire. All right. So, uh, for people who don't know, it was a it was a card game that simulates an RPG. So you're still rolling to check. Uh, each check to acquire uses one of Marisol's skills. To get this ally, Marisol can use her acrobatics. What the hell? This Trobodor is like, yo, you flip fast enough? You do backflips fast enough? I think I want to join you. You can charisma to charm. That makes sense, right? <laughs> you want to be... Yo, he's got a knife behind his back. You sure you want to be friends with this dude? Alright, she gets to roll a d12 and add her acrobatic skill to the roll. Let's look at her thing. Uh, she excels in dexterity. We'll have to increase group bonuses, yep. She has disable plus, stealth, uh, acrobatics. Okay, well yeah, acrobatics is obviously her strength. Oh, uh, we're going 12. Hey! Success, yo. He loves he loves your backflips. You're you're very uh very swift. Okay, discarding card, place it in this card pile. Recharge this card. To discard a card, you can also direct drag it directly. Discard this card. Okay, so you use them up to ex um to explore your location. What if I don't want to discard them? But nah, I guess we do. So it basically gives you another turn. Ooh, a short bow. Oh. So yeah, strangely enough, uh you need skill checks to to get items too, which is kind of weird, frankly. All right. uh, I will put this in my deck, right? Or uh, oh, you click something. Goblin. Okay, you found a monster. You must meet or exceed their check to defeat. Failure to defeat a monster can cause a character to take damage, but we'll discuss that in a future tutorial. All right, combat nine. Uh. So for your combat check, reveal this card to use your dexterity or range skill, plus 1d6. If proficient with weapons, you may discard this card to add another, uh, to add 1d4 to a combat check by a character at another location. Oh, so you're helping someone out, but you lose this weapon, though, which I don't particularly like. Oh, wow, they actually show you the exact percentage. That's pretty cool. Hey, the game does the math for you. That's pretty cool. Blessing of Aracel. Uh, blessings are boons that typically add additional dice to your check to defeat or acquire. This particular blessing gives additional dice when used in a dexterity based combat check. Very useful. Okay. Well. Oh. You have to roll the check to get blessings too. Yeah, this is one of the weird things about this game. Uh, you have to roll to check everything. Uh, save the blessing. Uh, I think you have a maximum hand size too. I don't remember. I remember doing some hand management. Sandpoint Devil. After we heard up on the roof the clomping and snorting and the terrible, terrible tearing, 
I ain't ashamed to say I kept right there between the sheets and didn't even think about him coming out till morning. Okay, you defeat the villain, you win the scenario. I will discard two and two. Boom. Just that easy. Oh, you start off with, uh, with some gold. Okay. Uh, this game's always online only to make sure, you know, the gold, the amount of gold. Oh! You get... Okay, so yeah, your deck, the character is your deck. So sometimes you add extra cards to your deck to make your deck more powerful. Uh, hand management, yep. Hand management is like the main point of, uh... The main interaction. Bury and banish card actions, deeper combat interactions, and hand management. Let's cover the basics of character da player damage and death, and how to avoid both. Hand size, there you go. Okay, so all characters have a hand size limit as denoted by the number in the hand next to the portrait. So she has five. Uh, this is the number of cards that the player must draw up or down to when they reset their hand at the end of the turn. If a character is unable to draw a card because they have run out, that character dies. What? I don't remember this part. If a character dies, they will be unavailable for the rest of the scenario, but they can be used as normal for in future scenarios. Okay, so they faint. They're not actually dead. Oh, you can turn permadeath on. Interesting. Okay, so permadeath is a thing. No, I, I, I really hate permadeath. Like, it makes, it makes, uh... Give me a second. Okay, let's search for the villain. Goblin, okay. So the recharge thing uh, means you can use weapons again. So I, I prefer to reveal rather than losing cards. Oh, and then I got wrecked. An unlucky roll. Sometimes the dice just don't roll your way. When you fail to defeat, your character takes damage equal to the difference between the difficulty of the monster and the check's result. Oh, I remember now. Okay, so for every point of damage, you're forced to discard a card from your hand. Okay. I will... Very completely removes it from play. Okay. So you can discard... Uh, to reduce combat damage by one. Can I recharge now? Uh, I guess I'll bury. Ooh, a whole bunch of blessings. Pit trap. Okay, if you defeat it, you may immediately <laughs> you fall into a pit and you get back up and keep going. If undefeated, oh no no no! If undefeated, each player is dealt one d4 of combat damage. Okay. You may only play one type of boon per check, so you can't just stack the same boon over and over again. People who don't know, uh, yeah. Let's see. Let's take a look. Yeah, this should be totally enough, right? You get 2d12 to get a 7? Huh. Explore now. Caltrops. Alright. Caltrops can help a character evade a monster if they don't want to fight it. Or defeat it outright if the monster's difficulty is low enough. Yo, if the monster is really weak, you can just throw some Caltrops down. Oh, I have to... 75% is good. There you go. Only a 4. If I can't even roll a 4... Can you explore? Hey, he's here again. Banish. Alright, we, we, we heard his feet and he gave up. Oh, discard his blessing, use his power to explore the location. Oh, there he is again. Alright, well. 
Oh, can you not use any more? 93%, uh, guys. 93%. Congratulations. All right. It's kind of nice to give you loot for doing tutorial. I don't know what gold is actually for, though. The problem also it means that it can grind. Oh, here we go. Recharge. Uh, oops. No. We should recharge card action. Yeah, the bosses have henchmen. Uh, some scenarios have additional powers that take effect on the entire scenario. This scenario does not have uh, one of those powers, but you will see it in a later tutorial. Okay, there's a cultist. Henchmen are special banes that, when defeated, allow characters to choose the location they came from. Choosing a location gives the villain one less place to hide, so finding and defeating henchmen is an important part of your party search for the villain. Okay. Each location uh, is built using card of cards. So you can look at the makeup of each uh, of each thing. Oh, the location deck have veins of defeat like these three monster cards. Warlord, Zolgaf, and Ogre. Location deck will also have useful boons to acquire like these three item cards. Okay. Henchmen are also hidden in these. Well, we only got one location in this one, so... Here we go! Alright, locations also have unique powers that are active when the location is still open. They also have one condition that must be met when you attempt to close it. Failing these, closing conditions causes the location to remain open. Okay. If you fail to close the location after defeating a henchman or a villain, you will typically need to exhaust all of the cards in that location's deck before you can attempt to close it again. So if you beat the Bane, the boss, the quote-unquote boss of that location, you can instantly try to close it. Um, let me see, when ally will be discarded, it is buried instead. Okay. Lost Coast. Searching for the villain, you're accused to close the location. You have to defeat the henchman or exhausting all the location's cards. Uh, if you would ever discard an ally, you bury it instead. And second, to close the location, you must defeat a random monster. Hey, there's a burglar. Can I get multiple allies? Oh, uh, ma let's make sure we acquire it by recharging our Trovador. Alright, let's recharge. Recharging a card placed on the bottom of the deck. Oh, that's very useful. Yeah, so it do you don't lose the card. It just goes back. You, you can draw it again later. That's pretty good. 91%. Come on, guys. Yeah. So, the turn count kind of doesn't matter, cause as long as you're not losing, uh... Wow, 0% success rate. Um, I don't think I have anything that can help me, right? Crowbar? I, I can crowbar help me get some holy water? Nope. It's just a zero. It's just a zero. Nope, it's just a zero. Uh, how do I? Uh, okay. Burglar, help me steal this thing? Nope. Whatever. Yeah. Oh, uh, it will be banished. Okay. Oh, so it's permanently gone if you if you fail to get it. Uh. Well, keep going. Keep going. Alright, here we go. Combat time. 0% reveal this shit. 70%. Not bad. Yo, wrecked. Keep going. Oh, it's a dart. Uh, yeah, 75%. So now the problem is we have to discard down to something, right? We have to, we, we are over our hand limit now. Um, what do we do? Well, I don't want to get rid of the ally. This needs a Oh, this automatically helps you get this diplomacy thing. But, uh... Well, I want this dart. I think the dart I'm gonna discard. Okay. Uh, I don't think I want the dart. Yeah. 
Because this is a combat thing and my bow is better, probably. Or do I want to declibness? Oh, there's no allies, right? I don't need um, I don't need diplomacy, so I'm gonna put that in there. Keep going. Ah, Zombo. Zero percent. Well, reveal. Seventy percent. Okay. All right. I like this tutorial via doing. Tutorial via via doing. Uh, what's next? Luckstone, ooh, okay, 33%. Um, wow, got super lucky, one out of three. Uh, what does this Luckstone do? Discard this card to add a one to your check. You may succeed at a Wisdom or Survival 9 check to recharge this card instead of discarding it. Huh. If you would fail a check by one, you may bury this card to succeed. That's really useful. Um, we will discard... Crowbar, I guess? I guess Crowbar. Yeah. Keep going. We only got four cards left in the thing. Giant Gecko. Is this a, just a monster? 79. There we go. Easily. I forgot. Are there any rewards for killing monsters? I don't remember. They're just there to block your path. Oh, Pit Trap. Burglar can help you, I think. Uh, recharge. 91%. Okay, go get the 20. Uh, explore. There he is, cultist. Let us reveal. Let us. I can discard to add one. Do I want to? It's a 70%. Do I want to chuck the one more? Well, whatever. This is the final. Well, actually, no, it's not the final part of the encounter. Um, I can discard this to, to re-roll. Oh no, it's with this weapon. 70%. 70% is pretty good. Let's do it. Got him. Close the farmhouse. We have to defeat a monster. I will close the location. So, Warlord. Okay. Ooh, 54. That's pretty bad. Um... Subtract one from each die rolled in your check to defeat the Warlord. Ooh, that's pretty annoying. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I could discard this, but let's go. Oh, we got him. 50%, man, 50%. Control multiple. So yeah, you need a whole party. You can't solo this, this game, because there's going to be multiple locations for you to explore. So... Yeah, what am I going to do with all this gold? Two more tutorials. Learn how to manage a party of heroes. Gotta have a healer. That girl's the, the priest who I played in my physical version of this game. Uh, oh, we'll fight the cultist again? Oh, okay, no. There's multiple locations now. Uh, to close all three locations. Alright, oh, this is going to be a long tutorial. Uh, you have Kira. Kira is a cleric and use divine spells to help her. Power. So, if you're in the same location, you can help each other. But, ideally, you're on a clock, right? So, you want to spread out and get the thing. Some heroes are will do better at specific locations. Okay. For example, Kira will have an easier time closing the desecrated vault because it requires a wisdom or divine check. Muriel will do well at closing the farmhouse because it's easier for her to defeat monsters. Okay, so yeah, uh, this is the deeper done farmhouse. Farmhouse is... Yep. That's where she was earlier, and then she's gonna go to the crypt, because that's where the skeletons are. You must choose your party's turn order. I think I'm gonna have the healer second, because she can... I think she can actually heal people from the other location. I don't remember very well, but... Something new to note is the blessing deck in the top right. Okay, so yeah, every turn has the blessing. If you're if you uh, the blessing deck runs out, also, you lose. So there, as I said, there is a time limit. If you're unable to draw because they run out, you will lose the scenario. So you can't just you can't just lame it out. Uh, additional explorations. Yeah, see, so there's a clock. During a check, if another character can help, their portrait will have an exclamation mark. Click the portrait to see what they can do. What can she do? Oh, 
Okay, use a card to aid in... Oh, she can bless you from a... <laughs> she can telepathically sense her friends in danger and, like, use the blessing. 89%. Here we go. Yeah, you definitely want to succeed, especially with this thing. Oh, you get weapons. 1d4. Three new weapons. Wow. Battle axe? I, I don't think she's the type to use battle axes. What does this do? You can discard to explore again. I will do that again. Oh, spooky, spooky skeletons. What does this do? Uh, strength for melee. Strength for melee. It's all strength for melee. Uh, I guess I'll use my dart. Ooh, 37%'s not good. I'm gonna have to use another blessing. She's gonna use all her blessings before <laughs> she even gets her turn. Alright. Here we go. Got it. Discard. Discard. I don't want this mace either. Uh, I'll actually, no. To roll your strength. Okay. Is that. Okay. So is strength plus better than her dexterity? Oh, I think that actually is better than the darts. Hold up. Let me see. So it's dexterity plus 1d4. This one is plus uh, strength or melee plus 1d8. So I think they're the same actually, right? Yeah, they're both 16. Well, one's 2... No. Dude, that means it's 2d8 with the mace. Uh, maybe I want to get rid of it. Oh, they give you rankings too. They're both they're both B rank weapons. Um, I'm going to discard the mace. Uh, I... No, I think I'm good. Got a blessing. Oh, just have an arm sticking out like that. All right. Uh, okay. So at this location, if you defeat a monster with the undead trait, roll one d6 on a one. The car. Oh, the monster's undefeated. Oh, so he regenerates. They regenerate. Uh, succeed at a wisdom s or divine six. Here we go. thing resets your hand if you don't beat him. That's pretty annoying. Uh, 43%. I can quarter staff reveal. 80% is very good. Ooh, got him. Oh, but then I have to roll a one to make sure he's actually dead. Come on. The cleric should be able to turn undead or something. No, ghoul's dead. Oh, she has a spell. Mending. Why does it have a picture of a helmet on it? Discard this card to allow a character at your location to discard a weapon, armor, or an item. That character draws a card of that type from his discard pile. Uh, oh. After playing this card, if you do not have either the divine or arcane skill, banish it. Otherwise, you may succeed it. Oh, okay. So you can only use it once if you, uh... Keep exploring. Nightwatch. A hey. Uh, charisma or perception? Well, po potion of... Wisdom is a good card. I want to just... Yeah, 33% is not that good. I'm just gonna... Hey, man, don't you want to help me out here? There you go. I use. I drink a potion. This guy wants to help me out. Discard this card to explore my location? Problem. At this location, the farmhouse, if you discard your ally, they get buried. So, not worth it. Let's go. Oh, here we go, cultist. That's good. I really want to beat this guy. Reveal. Uh, I will. I definitely want the blessing too. Ninety percent. Here we go. Oh God! If you roll a one, I'm gonna be very. Okay, no, no. It, it's only undead monsters. Uh, seventy-five percent. Can she help? I think seventy-five percent's fine. Location is closed. Uh, we're good. Oh, standard bearer. Recharge this card to add 1d6 to your non-combat strength or constitution check. Okay, so you, she, she only bears a standard. She doesn't fight. What about cure? Oh, it puts discard cards back in, uh, into your thing. Uh... Do I want to cure myself? I think I'm fine. My deck's still 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 okay. 
boots of elven kind. 83%? Get those boots. I could discard this to keep exploring. But if I re I run into if I run into a monster, that'd be bad. But you know what? We're on a we're on a We're in a hurry. Oh wow, zero percent. Okay. 37. Oh, she doesn't have a blessing to help either. That's bad. Here we go. Oh, managed to do it. Alright. Problem, we have to beat another monster now. Wait, the Warlord wasn't the freaking, uh... Wait, the Warlord wasn't the, the, the boss? I guess not. Okay, she moved to an open one. I hope so. Uh, this is the only one left, right? Deeper dungeons. The difficulty of combat checks at this location is increased by one. Ooh. That's, uh, not great. Hey, there's me. Uh, oh, wow, you can move and then explore. That's pretty cool. Uh, 50%. 50%. Ooh. Is the game cheating for me? Am I just, just automatically passing all these? Uh, yeah, let's, let's explore again. Goblin warrior. Oops, oh, why did I do that? I'm dumb. Okay, I actually have to recharge my thing now. Cure. Cure! Ooh, there you go. Five of those cards go... I have to roll for a divine. 50%. Got it. Okay, I think you're just it's just rigged that you always succeed. Uh, I could discard her to keep exploring, but no, I'm, I'm, I want to draw back. Yeah, there we go. My weapon is gone. I definitely don't want to... Uh... Wow. Intelligence? No? Oh, it was a healing potion. Uh... How much does it increase by? Oh, it was one die. It's a five. I don't know if I actually want it that bad. Oh, uh, because I'm rolling a D4. Eh, whatever. Let's do it. Still only 62%, but, you know, it's rigged, right? So we're, we'll, we'll take it. Can I potion myself? I guess so. Heal. Uh... I am gonna wait for her to. Can I skip my turn? Yeah, I'm gonna. I just stalled it out. Ooh, amulet of life. Uh, I could blessing again. You know what? Huh. It's a damage prevention thing, but you know what? I think I'm gonna keep it. It's alright. I don't need the item. Yeah, I don't need the item. Pitch wrap again? 50 50. Whatever. There you go, 50 50. Keep exploring. Ooh, Masterwork Tools. Problem. It's a dexterity one. It's obviously meant for the other girl. Uh, I will do it. Ah, uh, wow. It was 18% and I still managed to do it. Oh, the big cheatings. Uh. I will discard this because she does not need this. Ooh, chainmail, nice. Heavy, ooh, we totally need this heavy crossbow. Uh, nope, she can't help. Please work. Yes, okay, we need that crossbow. Let's get that dart out of here. Um, discard. Giant gecko. 68% is pretty good. Ah, uh, we're done. 17. Yeah, this, this game takes a while. Oh, skeleton. Uh, heavy crossbow. This guy's pretty strong. Uh, 
Is that the boss? No, oh, I guess not. I guess there's only one unknown left. Oh, that's the uh, that's the boss. Okay, the boss one's the next one. Bugbear. Uh. Ooh, still 43. It's not great. Ah, well, it's rigged, right? Okay, it's dead. Move on. All right, this one has to be the the has to be the henchman. There it is. Here, show you my crossbow. 76%. Dead. Yes. Whoa, this guy's strong. Um, hold up. I might be screwed. Yeah, even with why is this guy so strong? Well, tutorial. Oh, is this the boss? No, it's not. Um, thirty-one percent is pretty bad. But once again, yeah, in the real in the real game, it wouldn't be that easy. Uh, I'm not gonna explore it because I want I want my my adventures to team up. So now we're allied up. Aid, oh, wisdom. Um, wait, what? Why is my wisdom bad? Oh, cause I'm I'm the other I'm the other. Can I? Whoa, this thing's really good. Uh, problem, the wrong person <laughs> got to it. Uh, is there some way I can buff it? No, I can't. No, aid. I wanted that. Oh, she's good at combat, so I'm gonna discard this to keep going. Not that I want it, but sure. Alright, this is the boss. What does this mean? 50%. That's it. Oh, you have to succeed at a 40, uh, the constitution or fortitude. Thankfully, standard bearer. Help me out here. That's it. <laughs> Alright. Alright, now the next tutorial is the last one. How long have we been here? Maybe we'll learn what all those gold's for, too. Flaming shortbow. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> if proficient with weapons, you may discard this card to add 1d4 and to fire a trait to a combat check by a character at another location. Oh, so I'm shooting the, the arrow. What about her? Staff plus one. To add another one d six. Okay, you throw your staff at him. Final tutorial chapter. Let's go. This final tutorial. You will play through a full scenario. Okay, so we're basically playing a scenario then. Uh well, uh, we're probably predestined to lose then. Most scenarios have powers that are in effect throughout the scenario. In this scenario, you add two to your check whenever you attempt to defeat a bane. So you get stronger. This thing is a not a bane, it's an outsider. Alright, it's literally the same thing as before. Uh, oh, so because this is a tutorial. Yeah. First phase is give a card. Okay, you can give a card to any other character at this character's location. It's important to note you may only do so if you have not explored or moved yet. Then move phase. 
Explorer. And this card. Yeah, I sometimes want to discard cards just to get them out of my hand. Man, allergies are, are not a good time, guys. Uh, so let's explore. What the hell? We just run smack dab instead of villain? Alright. Unlike monsters and henchmen, villains just need don't just need to be defeated. They also need to be cornered. Meaning you need to ensure there's no open locations for them to escape to. After the encounter with the villain, if any locations are open, the villain will be shuffled into a random open location. Huh. How do you how do you do that in the board game? Luckily, when the villain is encountered, uh, all characters at no open location will have the opportunity to temporarily close that location. Huh? That's so weird. You need to perform the win closing check for that location. Okay. Sure. So I have to immediately fight a monster. Oh no, do this thing. Sure. 75. So I have to fight a monster first. Oh, well no. He has to go to the crypt then. Um... My power... Okay. Weapon proficiency. It's sneak attack. Oh, you can recharge a card to add one d6 to your combat. That's really good. Uh, I would love to sneak attack him. Backstab. Okay. Uh, how do I do it? Click on the power to activate it. Oh. I will recharge crowbar probably. Right? Yeah, I don't need this now. 31%? Alright, blessing. 78%. Let's go. Boom. Uh, I can recharge uh, an item if I want. Alright, so he has to go over here because all the elder locations temporarily closed. Because there is an open location, the villain was able to escape there. Close more locations so the villain will be unable to escape. Remember, if all locations are closed, we defeat a villain, they will be unable to escape and you will win the scenario. How does temporarily closing it work? Let me see. Oh, it's only for that, uh, for that area. Okay, whatever. Okay, I get a free blessing. Uh, I can discard to keep going. Which I guess I should keep going. Cultist. Oh, wow. Alright. Uh, oh, I do not have a... Ooh. Can I discard this one too? Alright, 90%. Let's do it. Because if I, if I succeed in closing this thing, it's over. Or, I mean, uh, if I succeed in... If I succeed in closing, I can just move immediately. Here we go. <clears throat> she needs a weapon. I really don't want her to fight. I think I'm gonna just pass, probably. Because it's mostly monsters. Uh, I don't need the Glimness Potion. What's the burglar do? Oh. She really needs a weapon. Um, I'm gonna... Do I want to mend? No, I don't. What's Chainmail do again? Recharge this to reduce combat damage by two. Uh, do I need Holy Water? Oh, the Bane's pretty good. Okay. I 
I need a weapon. I have a dagger. I guess that's fine. Oh, aid. That's the wrong person again. Eh. What's men do? Uh, oh, okay. I could cure, but it's not that useful right now. I might just use it just to get it out of my hand. Uh, I'll cure myself. Go back into the... I can mend, but no, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna just. I need a weapon. Still no weapon. Jesus. Oh, oh god. That was probably the worst thing that could happen. It's still in time again. What can I recharge? Uh. Does she have a blessing? She does have a blessing. Alright, ninety-eight percent ninety-two percent. That's it. Stab, stab, stab. Oh, that's it. You don't have to close the thing. I was worried because I thought I had to make another uh, fortitude check. Apparently not. Huh. Alright, time to see what the hell you can do with all this gold. Build your party, add character, you will be given the opportunity to create a brand new character for a party or to add an existing hero. Not currently in use in a campaign. Recommended party size three or four. Uh you create a you can create a party of six characters? What? Parties of a large number of characters may have many options when dealing with an encounter, but each character may not get many turns to act. Oh yeah, because you get uh you lose a turn counter on the thing for each character regardless. So is that that pandemic problem of you get more actions but everybody gets a less Okay. Let's uh let's create some parties. Uh actually hold up. Let's let's go to let's go see what I can do with this gold. There's freaking loot crates? What? You can buy characters too. Interesting. There's a whole bunch of goblins. DLC. How much does it, it... Can you buy in gold? Oh no, it has to be actual... Uh, never mind. It has to be actual monies. That's okay. I mean, you have most of these already. It's fine. Oh, this stuff you buy with gold. Uh. Oh, these are actual cards. Okay. It charges to reduce card amount. Oh, these are all pretty good. Mechanic shield. Holy shit, this thing costs more gold than I have right now. Uh, fervor. Discard this to explore your location. During this exploration, add one. So you get it on Explorer, and then all your stuff, all your checks get bonused. That's pretty good. Goodbye runes. Oh, it's a freaking temporary buff. I'm not doing that shit. Treasure chests. There's freaking loot crates. Great. Give me a second, guys. Sorry. Allergies acting up. My eyes are freaking super itchy right now. Um, okay. Let me see. There is a lot of DLC. Which I am not gonna bother with. Uh, I do wanna buy some of these. Like, this is pretty cool. 80%, well, 80% off. Yeah, sure. Got a mountain pattern. Oh, you can buy more than one? I did not realize. Wait. How does that work? 
Oh yeah, some of these are crazy expensive. Um, guaranteed. Oh, one of them's- oh, it's just loot crates. You know what? Just buy loot crates? Sure. Let's go. It's time for- time for a gotcha life. Let's do it. Okay. Oh. How do I- how do I open these? Collection? What do you- how do you- how do you open chests? Okay. Pillbug Pokedur. Poison Man. Alright. Oh, even locations are like, freaking. Maybe you can open chests somewhere here? There we go. Okay, here we go. Wait, what's Ruin of Wonder? Sagacity. Let's play this card. Oh. Wait, what is the. Wait, what does this do? Oh. Ah, okay. Here we go. I'm opening booster packs for stuff I don't even like. Orb of Magic. These are like really common. Whoa, I got just got two epic cards and one yo. Gotta keep kids addicted to the gambling. Alright. Whoa, legendary, what is this? Flare burst. It is an arcane spell. Display this card next to your deck. While display it, add one D4 into fire trait to combat checks against monsters. At the end of the turn, if you do not have the arcane skill, banish this card. Otherwise, discard it. Or you may attempt. Okay, so you gotta be a you gotta be a spellcaster to icy hook hammer. Getting decent stuff right now. Favor of Norgorber. Spell Component Pouch. Reveal this card to add two to your check to recharge a spell that has the arcane trait. Okay, that's very useful for a uh, spellcaster. Ah, uh, this is a bad one. Only one rare. Amulet of Frozen Fists. Oh, you can be like a fire magic uh, specialist or... Oh, okay, you have to keep it on in order for the thing to work. It's so weird there's a rune with that, like, that <laughs> increases your, your chances for, for stuff. Alright, two more chests. Two epics. There are all these really powerful favors. Oh, I got another legendary. What is this? Silent Enforcer. Human Monk. Recharge this card to add 1d10 and the melee trait to your combat check. You may not play a spell that has an attack trait or a weapon on this check. Oh, uh, so she's pure melee. Or he. No, she's got breasts. It's a she. Okay. Okay. Uh. Let's go. Time to create a... Time to roll your D&D character. Let's go. Gotta have the DPS. You gotta have the tank. You gotta have a... Uh, you know, say jam? No. Human monk. Did we get the backstories? Oh. Wow, it shows what would... Uh, Paladin... Oh, you can't name them. Alright, well, we definitely gotta have the rogue. Right? Oh, you can, you can, you can name them all. Okay. Nah, well, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna keep their default names. I feel kind of weird to... Oh. Alright. 
so we got the uh, sorcerer. I guess these four are the default ones, right? Oh, then you got the bard, and you got the. Uh... You know, we'll play a default game. These are clearly the default characters. Sorceress. Sioni. There you go. Yeah, this is the this is the default party. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing right now. Oh god, you can manage your individual decks too. Okay. Quick way to check, you gotta bring a required amount of cards of each type. Stash is like a persistent sideboard. Huh. Stash has a card limit. Okay, uh, what are these? Goblin Golem of Obsidian. Yo, it's cool art, yo. Aw, uh, it helps with the, the, the goblin, though. Oh, I have to, uh, okay. Hold on. Oh, okay. So you can stash, uh... Why can't I? Why is this thing not working? I think that's uh. Oh, there you go. Do I want to get rid of dart? Start better than okay. There you go. Okay. What does this do? Oh, there you go. Okay. So you can stash items. Um, what's the sling do? All right, it's way better than the dart. All right, so I'm just gonna buff my guys up then. Uh, flaming short bow. Hold up. Is the short bow better? 1d6. Oh, this thing buffs itself. No, I guess I'll take this. Oh, uh, once you're unclaimed, that's it? Can you go into your collection? I guess not. Oh, uh, once you claim it, you have to give it to somebody. Okay. Uh, heavy armor. I definitely don't. She does definitely does not want heavy armor. Uh, if you played a weapon with the two-handed, if proficient with light armor, you may recharge this card when you reset your hand. Oh, is she proficient with light armor? There's no. Okay, there's no. What you call it? Wait, why is there a pole here? What do you got? Burglar, Troubadour. What's Idir do? Oh, he helps the warrior. Rogue Ape! <laughs> it's... He's an ape. And he's a rogue. Okay. Uh, to your combat check. 2d6 if you're the only... Oh, okay, that's pretty good. Okay, oh, they're just generic blessings. Um... Oh, it's divine or intelligence. Uh, is there one dexterity? Oh, here we go, dexterity. That's pretty good. So yeah, you don't want the generic, uh... Is this divine? Oh, dexterity, okay. How many are there? Oh. So yeah, you want to get rid of your generic blessings as, as soon as you can. Uh, is there another one there for dexterity? Nope. Oh, that's not bad.
Uh, what else are we looking at? Oh, superior. Well, you obviously want the superior leather armor, right? Upgraded both the weapons. Damn, this deck already got upgraded pretty much. Um, I don't know what the one-two is. Is there a... Oh, well, actually, you have the dexterity check. Huh. Oh, but it's only melee. But you can't weapon, so it's just a straight D10. What does this do? Oh. No. Stupid like a fox. Sorry this is taking a while, guys, but, you know. Alright, time for, uh, time for our cool lady. Quarter staff goes away. Hooked hammer, good for you. I don't think she wants a dagger. Wounding spear X. Is she proficient with weapons? I wish you could look at your trace right now. Ah, uh, this is an oversight. Well, it's better than this mace. It's just one. This is just one D8, right? Yeah. What's Great Club do? 1d10, oh. Oh, but she has to be proficient with weapons. Okay. Mace goes bye-bye. Here we got some spells. Oh, she got a lot of spells. Alright, I want I want divine stuff. Um That's for Arcane. Heat metal. That's pretty useful. What the hell is Guidance? You just add one to any check. That's pretty funny. Uh, I don't think the Mending's that great. Paralyze? Evade a non-villain monster. No, so if you don't want to fight, you could do that. That's not super amazing. Shocking Splash. Alright, this is definitely a... I'll take the, sh the armor shield. Uh, this is light armor, right? I'm guessing she's proficient with heavy armor. So I'm not super sure. Give her a better shield. Actually, what shields does he have? Oh, he's got some shitty. Uh... Potion, don't particularly care all that much. Uh, what the hell does this gem do? Fortitude or melee? No, I don't care that much. Amulet, frozen fists. Oh, that just helps you, uh... Nah, she keeps the holy water, I guess. It'll be okay. Oh man, you really need more favors. So yeah, favors are like the really... What's divine? Um, this one's divine. This one is also divine. This one's in fact also divine. Yeah, okay. Hopefully I got some cards left for my other guys. Oh, she has, she has no weapons. Interesting. She gets no weapons. Shocking Splash is probably better than, uh... Oh, no, you give, you give to somebody else. Oh, Shocking Splash is for, for Divine, too. Okay, yeah, we're gonna get rid of this Mending, then. Get it over here. Our Flare Burst. So this helps you fight monsters, but... What's Invisibility do? Oh, you just discard this card to... To run away from monsters. Uh, we're good. I think that's fine. Potion of Fortitude. I don't think I want this Potion of Fortitude. Spell Component Pouch? Yeah. I don't think stuff that protects your... your... What's Orb of Magic do? Huh. 
not bad. Maybe I'll orb a magic. Hole is definitely not her. Sepia ellipsoid. Survival or diplomacy? Okay. Uh, orb of firestorm? Which one's better? Uh, add one D6. Okay. 2d4. Okay, this one's better. Orb of firestorm is definitely better. Oh, hey, you get a holy symbol. That's pretty cool. Okay, yeah, we're, we're putting this in here. Uh, holy symbol. I really want to recharge my spells, so I'm gonna... Man, your stash is, like, way too small. You don't have enough to, like, hold anything. I'm gonna set your hand. Maybe I'll orb of, uh... Oh, you can reclose. You can close the location. This adds to your attempt to close the location. That's pretty good. Giant weasel. Huh. Just helps you in melee situations. What's guard do? Oh, perception check. Huh. She is a burglar too. Interesting. I like the fox. I'm gonna take the fox. Uh, what's guy do? Survival? What does this guy do? Dexterity or charisma? Um. Guide? I don't know how great guide is. I'm gonna put guide in here. Give me that. Give me that fox. Alright. Night watch. Perception, standard bearer. What's Palagina do? You charge this card and choose a character. Shuffle one card at random into. Oh, so she heals. Okay. Discard this card to add two to yours in my check. Whoa, so she wants this. Get that standard bearer out of here. All right, we're almost done. Freaking! Uh, all right, he definitely wants a lot of weapons. Uh, get that animal bane dagger. Uh, well, he can use everything, right? Why not? Oh wait, but does he want? Oh, it's is it one-handed? Oh no, it's a two-handed. He wants to use shields too. Uh. Spike chain, not bad. Oh, they're all two-handed, though, is the problem. Alright, I guess I'm going to the stash. Oh, stash is limited space. Uh, That's really sad. Yeah, I don't know why they did this to you. I'm gonna get rid of all the... Uh... I'm gonna get rid of all the common stuff. Generic, all the generic stuff where we're getting rid of. Um, I want to uh, leather armor. Yeah. Oh wow, they're all guard. Well, they're all starting cards, right? It makes sense. All right, let's go do one. Uh, one do one encounter. Let's go do one adventure. We're, we've already been like at it for an hour. Uh. Okay, right. Do we have any more in the unclaimed? Oh, we have one more for this. What is it? Intelligence? Yeah. Okay, let's get rid of one more. Does he have any potions he wants? Oh, I guess so. Uh, Matlock. Matic. Potion of hiding, I'm not sure, is all that great. I'm gonna... Uh, that might not be bad. Uh, what do I want to banish? Yeah, I don't think this is that, that useful. Oh wait, no, we're gonna get rid of this blessing. Yeah, the blessing one's always the is the most uh, automatic one. 
just kind of get rid of them. All right, let's let's go. We got. I remember the first the first stage took quite a while. Time. Oh, damn, so it's definitely gonna be eight o'clock by the time I'm. All right, Brigadoom. Uh, Jubrail. Normal difficulty, okay. Got a couple of uh, the managed party. Can I look at their backstories at least? Oh, I can actually change their thing. Oh no, does she have a green one? No, she doesn't. can change their freaking, uh, oops. Oh, we don't even get to read their backstory. That makes me sad. I know they're there. Uh, okay. Each character receives a random item. If a monster's power causes you to recharge one or more cards, do so. Then draw the same number of cards you recharged. Alright. Oh, there's multiples. Alright, why not? Let's go. Might as well. Finally arrived in- oh, there's story! Well, this wasn't in freaking, uh, there's no dialogue in, in the card game. Uh, I guess they just substitute random people. Ven Vinder. You there, you look equipped and able? I can't get a supply shipment past the waterfront these days. That brigand, Chubrel v Visky and his thugs are rubbing honest- robbing honest folks in the street. They're rubbing honest folks in the streets. <laughs> Our incompetent sheriff can't seem to do a thing about it. I guess it sounds like a noble enough cause. is isn't quite what I envisioned, but every journey has to start somewhere. Okay. Let's go. The monster's power, yeah. There he is. He's a 10 power guy. Before you act, recharge two cards. Trooper Al Risky. Wanted on charges of blackmail, conspiracy, crimes against decency, grave robbing, smuggling, thievery, varied mayhem, and murder. Right. Oh, the B is a base. It means base. Okay. Difficulty to defeat is increased by the scenarios and venture deck number. Before you act, recharge a card. If defeated, all right. Yeah, they're just they're just bandit scrubs. Okay. I will view my party. Orphaned at a young age and raised by humans in the slums, the elf Mariseal saw many friends grow old and died in the decades it took to her to become an adult. Unfettered by responsibilities, she now travels where her curiosity takes her, wandering the world with those she calls friends at the time. Mario believes in experiencing life to the fullest. You never know when you will meet an unexpected end, and that there are a few problems a dagger cannot solve. Alright, card lists... What about, uh, Kira and her family grew up near a small temple to Serene. Serene, the goddess of healing. Honesty, redemption, and the sun. When bandits attacked Kira's village, Serene's priestesses defended the innocent, driving off the raiders at the cost of their lives in their sanctuary. Standing in the burned ruin of the temple, young Kira swore her life and sword arm to the goddess, promising mercy to the deserving and a swift, swift death to those who spread darkness. Alright. Born into a clan of nomadic wanderers, Sione wears dozens of runic tattoos that tells the ancient stories of her people, and aid her in drawing upon their arcane powers. Quick thinking, and with a plan for every situation, she proudly exhibits the marks of her people, and endlessly seeks new understandings of, the magic of her magic abilities. She travels the world dispelling myths that her people are nothing more than liars and thieves, by writing injustices wherever she finds them. Ah, I don't think that's too related. Let's see, uh, Valeros. Well, this is a good-hearted former mercenary who's longing for adventure convinced him to flee and arrange betrothal to a farmer's daughter. He trained himself in swordplay and spent many years as a mercenary, but now he fights for those in need. Though noble of heart and fiercely loyal, Valeros hides such sentiments under a jaded and crass demeanor, frequently observing there is nothing better than an evening of hard drinking and soft company. Yo, he's Han Solo? Holy shit, there's six, there's six areas? Alright, uh, wisdom or survival? Well, wisdom you want... Her, right? Her wisdom is, uh... Her wisdom's the highest. D12, yeah. Interesting. Her charisma is actually higher than her intelligence. 
That's super weird. How does that work? Why is our so why is our int so low? That makes doesn't make any sense. That's weird. Is spellcasting based on uh Alright. Oh. Charisma or well charisma. Oh, well Dex is high for her. Let's see. Intelligence or arcane, but arcane is under. Strangely enough, arcane is under uh, is under charisma, right? Yeah, that's so weird. Uh, arcane's. I guess she's going here. Ah, uh, dexterity might be not bad. Is his diplomacy good? What's his charisma? No, he's just strength. Well, I guess he's just gonna go fight some dudes then. Alright. I want my healer to go last. Um, I want him to go first. You want the important ones to go first because you can, um... You can aid, right? If by the end you're gonna be out of blessings, then it doesn't help you anymore. Huh. Let's go fight some dudes. Mercenary. What does this do? Oh. Well. Reveal 1d6. Okay. 1d8. Okay. 81%, he's done. Come on. Oh, he only gets four cards? Huh. Oh, she gets six. That's interesting. Oh, so maybe you want her later, because that way you can um, bless people easily. Detect magic, alright. Oh, 100%, okay. How is it 100%? Oh, because you only need two. Uh, what does this do? I will discard this card. Bandit, oh! Alright, she's about to fight that dude. Okay. Uh, recharge. Oh, does this do enough damage, though? Do I... This guy only gives perception. Well, she's got blessings. It's okay. Sixty-six percent. Nope, failed. Uh, oh, I have to discard one. Um, vision, I guess. That's pretty weird. We only get 30 to, to do all these? I guess I have to use the blessings then. Goblin warrior. Uh, I got this hammer. That's it. What's shocking splash do? 1d4. Uh, I could. Do I want a blessing? I guess I should. Eighty-nine percent. Holy symbol. Wow, I can't believe I missed that. Well, one quarter. Wow, he really likes fighting. Okay, well. Ninety-eight percent already. Just Destroy this guy. Wait, 
Wait, what? He hurts me? How? Didn't I succeed? Uh, actually, no, I don't want to discard that. I'll discard normal sword. Keep going. Oh, bandit. Okay. Recharge. Aw, oh, crap. Alright, I'm going to need help with this. Okay. Oh, it's already 90%. Alright, let's go. Why is he hitting me? What? Okay, I will close the location. Uh, 83%. I could do a blessing to go one more. No, I'll guide. 90%. Here we go. There you go. Closed. Why am I taking- Oh, is it this thing's ability? Oh, when you play this weapon. Okay, so it actually hurts you. I didn't realize that. Ah, uh, recharge. It's at 100. Why even make me roll? Oh, he's hurt. He's like down to 5. I mean, four. He lost like a quarter of his health. I didn't realize the animal dagger was like cutting myself. Uh, I'm gonna have to fight the the brigand now. I'm gonna recharge the burglar. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna have to force. Wow, 94. All right, force missile is really good. Definitely recharge. Close location. Might as well. Well, hold up. 95%. Hey, we closed two locations already. Uh, it is random where the boss starts out, I think. So... Don't have a weapon is the problem. What does this do? Current blessing? Huh. Let's see. Problem is, yeah, I don't have any weapons. Crap. Uh, I will evade. Yo, ninja dodge. See you later. And it reshuffles. I will... Discard the blessing to explore again. Oh, nice. Just got three blessings. Whatever. Discard one. Shalalu, Shalalu, Androsana. Oh, there's freaking dailies in this game. What? What does this do? Oh, any range combat check. What happens when you reveal this? Oh, sure. Let's keep let's keep exploring. Oh man, it's just non-stop of this. Keep blessing her. My ally needs help. See, sends her from across. Oh, the different colored dice makes for a nice effect, actually. All right. Got a whole bunch of recharge this stuff. Um, I guess I might as well. I really need to get my bow. Collapse ceiling, uh, burglar? Excellent. Oh, uh, I'm good. I explored quite a bit. Now what? Oh, she's got her weapon. She doesn't have a spell though. Ambush, whoa. Uh, what do you have to do? Oh man, she's just gonna give blessings to everybody. 80%, let's go. Defeat the ambush. I can immediately explore again, which I will. Potion of healing, uh... Eh, one third. Nope, failed. It's okay. We're okay. Keep going. 
Okay, now we're gonna go, uh, where should I go? I, I clicked it already. Alright, where am I gonna go? Should I help somebody, or should I... I guess we should focus on closing all the ones and, like, pinpointing the boss down to one, uh... I'm gonna go to where the, the... Oh, no, that one. She has a closed one, too, actually. Yeah. I guess her, him and the sorceress will go to one, one place. Oh, crap. We just immediately fight. Alright. Gotta recharge two cards. I can tell you're new here, so I'll give you one piece of advice for free. Get out. Leave Sandpoint behind you, and no one needs to get hurt. I'll make this offer once. Huh. Time to fight. Bandit leader. Except we're gonna have to fight him multiple times. Uh, I can temporarily close. Oh, so he's gonna he's gonna run here. Uh, I'm gonna close this location then. 58%? Come on. Oh, succeeded. How about you? Should you have to fight somebody? No. Dexterity or stealth? 75%. Got it. Okay, so if I manage to beat him, he has to go here. I have to recharge to uh short sword. Bye bye. Bye bye. Oh. This is what one D six. <clears throat> Reveal. Oh, can I discard it afterwards? No, I can't. What's Edir do? Uh, discard to add two to your fortitude or melee check. Uh, it's, I'm okay. Bless me. 89%, let's do it. Got him. He's out of there. Oh, is that it? It's over? I don't think so, right? Uh, you discard this card. Huh. I guess not. Yeah, no, he he pieces out. Um. Okay, so he closed that. So the monster has to be over. The boss has to be over there now. Um, I'm gonna go help who. She still has her weapon, so I'm gonna go here. Cool. Ooh, that's really not good. Can I run? Uh, you can evade. You can discard two cards to evade an to evade an encounter. Um, I guess I could use this ability, right? Star two. Oh, it gets shuffled. Right. Sambo. Wow, uh, it's not a great. Oh, run away. Oh, it gets shuffled again. Okay. Uh, I will trash. I need that weapon. I really need that weapon. I got a weapon. Okay. Uh, this is what, 1d8 plus 1? What about this one? 1d6 plus 1. It's not the best, but... Bunyip. What the hell is this? 33% sure I'll do it. Oh, failed. Alright, so he's combat 10 now. Twenty percent. Nope, I need uh I need some favors. Sixty-one. Give her all the favors. Eighty-eight, here we go. Got him. That wasn't even the boss. Great. 
He needs to go, uh... Alright. Well, my big my big battler man can, can do this. Where is this? You may attempt a dexterity or disable a check in place of the usual check to acquire a boon. Okay. So if you have high dexterity, it's not bad. For sure. I will then... Oh, okay, so he buffs your combat. Oh, there's a bandit. But I know the boss is here. Um, I don't think I need the armor, right? What does this do? Recharge. Let's fight. I know your boss is here. 92%. Got him. Easy. Can I even close it, though? Uh, I'll take the blessing. You know what? Got it. Yeah, he's here. So he goes, um... He goes to the only remaining location left. Which is over here. Which, um, how many cards are left? Six cards are left? I don't particularly want to, uh, what does this do? Recharge. Uh, I don't think I want invisibility. Yeah, I'm going to discard. Oh, got the lightning touch and force light back. Okay. Uh, let's go. Fifty-four. I'm gonna recharge. Wait, what? Why did I make it worse? Seventy-one percent. That took so many dice. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Recharge. Crap. Oh, my orb of magic's gone. Oh wait, she's still over here. Right? Hold up. I'm very confused. So it's not closed yet. Uh 50-50. Wow, I got wrecked. Um 1d4 of combat damage. Holy shit, I take four damage? Uh, I'm gonna... I'm gonna use the chainmail, probably. There you go. My armor took the damage for me. Which I guess is, is fine. Oh, we're almost running out of time. This is not good. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, so... Okay. Here we go. Okay, so I want to close the other two, because I know that last card is him. So I'm definitely, uh... Problem, I have to succeed at a stealth or dexterity now. 37%. Uh. Nobody's got any help? Alright. Oh, I can. She can bless me. 84. Got it. I have like 12 turns left. Um. Go to help her now. How many cards are left? Oh, here we go. Uh, burglar, I guess. So 
We're definitely force missling. 94, he's dead. Yeah, force missile's really OP. It's the power of uh, loot crates. Sixteen percent, not great. Uh, I got nothing. Oh wow, sixteen percent somehow worked. All right, let's go fight. Uh, it's the last guy. Let's go fight him. Fight him. Charge two, charge. Uh, I don't need this thing. I can discard or eighty-one percent already. Uh, ninety-four. Yeah, there you go. That's it. Yo, flaming arrow is too strong. I yo, they ain't being paid enough to get killed over a vendor's hall. Who sent you to st who set you to steal from I think it actually should be who sent you to steal from vendor speak and we shall be lenient telling you won't help me live to a ripe old age better just take me to sheriff hemlock cheers the hell you have a guy named sheriff hemlock hey that's an almost enough for one loot crate <laughs> we got new items for everyone what do we got wayfinder Cape of Escape. That might be pretty good, actually, for for uh, for her. Spyglass Perception. Discard this card to examine the two cards of your location deck. Put them back in anywhere. That's very useful in exploring, actually. Eyes of the Eagle. Charges card to succeed. At your. We got Eagle Eyes. Not super sure what. Uh, do you level? The problem is... Oh. Okay. Steve's tool, what does this actually do? Oh. I actually don't think I need that many... Diplomacy, that might be useful. Um... I actually think I want to keep my two archers. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Uh, Cape of Escape might be pretty good. What? This didn't actually do all that much for me, honestly. But... Nah, I think Cape of Escape is... Detect magic! Help you fight. Uh, fortitude or melee, huh? Let's get that night watch out of here. Eyes of the Eagle is pretty good, but you know what? Now I have to get rid of more stuff. I'm really sad that you have to like, you can't just keep it in some giant database. Eh. That's kind of annoying. How do you level up? I forgot. Uh, Trevor Chess Rewards. Hey, we get no loot crate. That's nice. Oh, no, we don't. Never mind. Oh, Adventure Reward is everybody gets a skill feat. Okay, so that's what it is. Alright, uh, I'm a. Time is it? Yeah, it's pretty late. 
All right, we, we did the first adventure in the Perils of the Lost Coast storyline. Uh, I'm gonna call it here. All right, thanks for watching, guys. See you later.